An early try by Central Damaris Rampaging Center and Rugby Union convert Mary Biama in the opening minutes pretty much opened the floodgates and the long afternoon for the Eastern Britain girls who looked disoriented with no game plan and structure in the attack and defense that allowed the Central girls to exploit and score easy points. Gurria's lack of size, experience and leadership in their spine provided little or no challenge to their opponents and looked so vulnerable in their defense across the park. In attack, Gurria's looked disjointed with no structure and resorted to playing one-man game all day which did not help their course. The Maris, though, looked dominant on both sides of the ball also but at times overplay themselves mainly with the ball in hand and turning over possession back to Gurias who could not capitalize. After the match, the Barris coach Kathy Niav was grateful for the win and commended her girls for sticking to their game plan and structure. Gurias coach George Tobada, though disappointed with the loss, admitted he's got a very young and inexperienced side and exposing them to playing at this level would be a good stepping stone for them and for their experience moving forward. In other women's results, Tigers 20 defeated Eagles 14 and Lahani's 24 defeated Vipers 4. The Santos Cup will host its final round of matches this weekend before they go into the top four playoff the following week. The inaugural National Women's Rugby League Grand Final will be staged parallel to the Men's Grand Final on September 15, 2024 at the Santos National Football Stadium. Terry Longwood, TV1 Sports.